Good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon. I'm just so energized and uplifted because look at this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful sister, Darcy Warden here. Miss Darcy Warden, I'm thrilled to have because she brings the wealth of information and knowledge of your personal experiences. Hello, we've all had so many personal experiences and just make sure you don't minimize how much you gain from all of that and how you can just gain and keep taking your steps forward and just getting all the wealth of information that you're connecting that vibe with your body and with your mind when your body and your mind is in alignment mm -hmm. It clearly, it clearly is all in a wonderful spot. So we just move forward and we don't let anything bother us. As Miss Darcy Warden will just give us more details about her experiences. <laughs> hey, Darcy. Hi, Afi. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course, man. This is awesome and amazing how get more folks to understand how our mind and our body can just be in alignment so much stronger because the mind is so strong. Don't you agree? I agree a hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Just, uh, what are, we accept personally is just what our minds so We just accept the loving things and disregard those negative thoughts. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Being aware of them when they strike. Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, you know that. Well, you work with people moving through the transitions. Like, what's happening when life transition with you? Like, what would you say is important for clients to focus on and when they're taking a transitional step or something? Yeah. So, we're moving through life transition all the time, right? Because the one thing that we can count on is that change happens. And some of the transitions are big, like um, I myself and an empty nester. So I'm transitioning into that life phase of not having to be, you know, a mom with my son in the house all the time. He's out on his own. Um, we transition from jobs and we transition from a life transition could even be finding that new purpose, right? Something that's calling to you, you know, there's something more. And as we grow older, that often tends to happen in terms of, we want to leave a legacy, we want to have an impact, we want to build community. And so when we move into these life transitions, oftentimes we can separate a little bit in, in terms of stepping away from our bodies and get really in our heads like you were talking about our minds are really really powerful and so to leverage that power of the mind and come back to the body and come into alignment is a really really important piece of that work and i am trained in the yogic tradition um so i'm a yoga I'm not an active yoga teacher, but I've taught yoga. I'm a yoga therapist and I'm a life and wellness coach. So I combine all these things so that we can come home to our bodies and let that wisdom show through, let our intuition grow a little stronger so that we can actually move into that purpose that's calling to us when that transition starts to occur. I hear you. It's not like, you know, you're just busting the yoga angle or like the meditation connection as well. It's just like you just do your own personal deep breaths and just seeing what the universe is telling you on. Yes, <laughs> it's feeling that's exactly it. it. Yes. Yeah. So doing like you're saying, really doing that deep work is our job as a human right? That deep work is what is going to help us show up 100% to shine our light and our gifts into the world and do that with confidence and do that with um, an assurance that we're on the right path, even though we may not even see where it's leading us, right? Just knowing that we're on the right path and yeah. feeling into that trueness. Yeah, that strength of that that um, oftentimes we have to let go of that, of the actual outcome, because it might be bigger and more beautiful than you can even imagine. Mm, okay, so keeping hopes alive. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. But that's the reality, though. I mean, because, yeah, just because we tend to don't get in that habit of trying to click on the mouse and seeing something ASAP. It's like, whew, Yeah. I'm learning myself. It's just like, be still and know. <laughs> Stop trying to get it right this moment. Just when you can just be still, take your deep breaths, and then still go and do your normal functions and happily, happily shine off. But it's, mm -hmm. you're growing, you're growing from all of this. And hey, <laughs> you feel much better from that one. And now, Yeah. Yeah. And what you're, what you're helping me remember, because I, I think about this a lot, all we have is each moment, right? And so to shine and to be present in each moment is going to get us where we're supposed to be, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. well, that's the whole point because it's like we just have that journey. We're going through a journey of life and just the um, connection right there with the journey, you know, focusing on the wellness and the appeal, you know, how you gain from this journey and how you're going to get inspired to take another move or you're going to take these right ones. So, like, what would you say how you balance the journey that you've learned? And, you know, if it's anything negative, hello, this is a brand new day. I'm not thinking about that one, but I learned. That, Yes. that I can just be more patient and I personally learned because I mean when I've gone through so many angles it's just like mm -hmm, just be patient and then I get happily surprised when I least expect it <laughs> so, <laughs> I've just learned that who cares let me just focus on this exact moment and forget about yesterday I'm just going to learn you know I'm not going to do any negative things that I've done but I'm definitely going to keep up the good loving work and then oh okay People Yeah. will mm -hmm, want Yeah. to connect and see how more angles will happen. Absolutely. And what I'm hearing too is just like staying in that integrity. So yes, things happen, but learning from them, letting them go, not letting them be baggage and, you know, growing and moving more and more and more into our integrity so that we can, you know, I, I think of a column And that energy flows really smoothly and brightly when we're in that, that integrity, like a Jenga. Hello, And that's all, oh, diamond. yeah. And then, but when we're out of alignment, it gets a little, er, 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 you know, and then, it, which is okay. We, we go out of alignment, we come back in. We go out of alignment, we come back in. That's being human and really offering ourselves a lot of grace and forgiveness when we stumble and just get back up and, you know, and reconnect with ourselves, reconnect with our community and, you know, really make sure we have that support around us. Hello. Grace is critical. I like how you say that one because hello. Yeah. We can not sit there and act like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm hearing, and I'm not going to say all the details, but I have so many experiences of people I've met in my life who know how to have that grace and the mercy. And I'm seeing all these married people like that. So I'm just saying, oh gosh. Let me just make sure I'm going to have the grace for myself. I'm going to have the grace for all my friends because I just have to shine off that, yes, it's no big deal. And hey, hey, I've learned, I've learned, and I'm just keeping my energy. I'm keeping the fun, fun <laughs> and excitement. And then see that mm -hmm, the next time that I have another challenge, a Jake's challenge with experience with the person who could possibly be my soulmate. That would be humongous. I have to be open-minded and just have grace for anything that was a miscommunication. But hey, just have that good practice going on. And obviously, greater things happen from grace and mercy. absolutely yeah powerful words right there definitely Yeah. We've all done it, but you've worked your journey all over. I'm seeing it's been all over the world and everything. Like, what would you say you've gained from the other different angles from you've learned from those spots over there in that country or this old, oh, maybe further out in the, this country? Like, what would you say have you gained from the different um, angles that you've been at? Yeah, you know, through my travels and the different places that I've lived, I, I mean, I highly recommend if, and I haven't traveled in a while, but if we have the opportunity to go to some place and be new, right? Like not actually know the rules, not actually understand the culture all the way and, and really go in being um, open 
it's just the world is so big and there are so many different ways of moving into the world in terms of you know culture and language and tradition and ritual and what my travels have taught me in living in different places is that we're all just trying to do the best we can and we are working within the cultural constructs that we are raised in that we're formed by and to open up the curtain a little bit and be able to see what else is beyond our own culture and our own frame is so important because different perspectives in different ways of knowing the world and being open to hearing about those and to like letting them drop in oh my god it is huge yeah and it's really made me humble it's really made me yeah just say wow there are so many beautiful people in the world and they're doing so many beautiful things and it's just made me even more curious and and want to strive for more alignment in my life. You know what I mean? Like I'm inspired by people who are really stepping into their calling and without apology, you know, they step into their calling with their grace and their um, passions. And um, it just, yeah, it makes me want to be even more of who I am. So yeah, because the work that I do is about being 100% ourselves, not 100% somebody else. And, um, and, and that can be hard to figure out what that is when we've been living in these structures, you know, in these frameworks that define us. And so it's time, you know, there's a certain point in our lives where we begin to question those. Like, is that really me? Is that really the frame I wanna live in? And, and when people begin to question that for themselves, that's where I can help as a coach. And then also as a, you know, as a yoga therapist, really connecting to the body, connecting to that wisdom and figuring out what's, what's like, what's up? What, what do we wanna do, you know? Well. <laughs> That's essential. And I'm telling you, I'm happily, happily learning more because it's a learning experience in life. And I am just honored to say, oh, OK, OK. So that being I like what you kept saying, open. Yeah. We stay open minded the same way. When we were young, we were all growing up and getting matured. We were getting detailed and all the foundations that we had to have. But the same way, hello, continually stay open to yes. get more experiences. Because, I mean, over here in America, everybody over here has been trained for, oh, okay, but you can be going over here with this company. You can come over here. It's all about always work and getting money where you can just focus on, hmm, mm hmm I can work with that for a while. But, hmm, I also enjoy X, Y, and Z. So, yeah. let me focus on hmm am I gonna gain like what were you gonna uplift if you're enjoying this one who else would benefit from what you're enjoying so just look around and just focus on those loving loving moves there and hey we're gonna enjoy each of our experiences as we're bringing these things to the table but we're uplifting all these as well and just all the other benefits because I mean I love that angle somebody gave me sometimes like if I we had a billion dollars and we only had 365 days left to live besides traveling what would you do besides traveling and it's like hmm, are you open to help are you open to uplift and do so what are you going to be doing but are you going to do it for it joyfully Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and that's the thing like spread the joy and when we're 100 percent ourselves that's what happens we give permission for others to be 100 percent themselves mm -hmm. when it comes from i believe we are intrinsically love like we are love we are goodness and when we show up 100 percent in our love and our goodness you know that saying a rising tide lifts all boats 
that's what's happening. Like we're the rising tide. We are the boats. We're all of it together. And, you know, so if we come out in our full shiny selves, no more hiding, no more masks and they're fine. You know, they serve a purpose somewhere along in our lives, but there's a point in time where it's okay to take them off and, and like lift the other boats with us. And, you know, I think as long as we do that inner work, we are collectively healing the world in the way that we need to be healed right now so that we can have a healthy planet, um, healthy people for our future generations. You know, I think about my son, what he's living into. He's 21. You know, what is the world going to look like when he's my age? And all the best thing that we can do right now is just heal ourselves, heal together, be the, be our best so that we can have a healthy planet and healthy people. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what I mean, not everybody has children. I mean, what would you say for, is a motivating angle or motivated mindset that people can do to take an action to actually want to do something? They'll see what they'll gain from taking these actions and these loving moves. What would you suggest, you know, people think about and mm -hmm, recognize how they'll be gaining X, Y, and Z? What do you say? Yeah, that's a great question. I think um, I always like to start small, right? Because we, for, I'll speak for myself anyway, there's this idea that if we're going to benefit the world, we have to do something big, right? But honestly, the thing that we can do, whether you have kids or you don't, or, you know, all of us are children. All of us are children of someone. All of us are, we are relatives. We are brothers and sisters. We are aunties and uncles. We are family, right? And so one of the things that I would say that brings purpose into our lives is to help others, right? And sometimes that means a smile to a stranger on the street. Thank you. It, it might mean um, paying it forward, maybe buying the coffee for the person behind you in line, right? These random acts of kindness that actually lift up somebody else in ways that we have no idea, right? We have no idea what that impact will be, but it's worth doing. Um, you know, and there are times like if there are causes that you know, whether it be um, something happening in your community, it could be the food bank, it could be, um, you know, teaching dance, it could be, it could be anything, but like contributing to your community in a small way, working like when I would serve at the local food kitchen, um, that's just, you know, it's a way of giving back and it's amazing until, until we actually get into that act of service, how it gives back to us. It is an insane exchange of energy, and that's how we lift, lift each other up. And, and then the other thing that I talk about a lot is... Um, which I really appreciate you, you know, these positive thoughts, keeping it positive, letting the negative go. And what, what you're doing when you do that is you are not, you have chosen to not commit a small act of violence on yourself, right? You have chosen peace. You have chosen, and, and that's, that's the internal work in terms of not being hard on ourselves, not beating ourselves up, not being negative on ourselves, when we can choose to be kind and loving to ourselves, that automatically transcends out into the outer world as well. So those are like those small, I'm just, you know, those smaller acts that we can do throughout the day to bring that positivity into our world and to keep us uplifted. Those, those are the things I say to start with. Hey, actions speak louder than words.
clearly, clearly. Absolutely. Things on your mind much more when you're always, it becomes a habit. So when you're doing things over and over, it's a habit all the time. It's a habit. Yeah. Basic Yeah. thing is brushing your teeth all the time. We don't realize, but that's clearly our strong habit. Yes. You don't even think about it. Right. No, It's just part no. of the routine. And the other thing like you, you made me think of too, is my, um, have my mantra is I am what I practice. So what am I practicing? And I think about that, you know, in terms of what are my thoughts? What are my actions? What are, what's my routine? You know, what I practice and what I am like, that is who I am. So if I'm practicing scrolling all day on the phone, that's what I become, right? And so I put the phone down and I go out for a walk, but just keeping in mind, like I am what I practice. So what am I practicing right now? And being really mindful about that. And when we just also stay open-minded, like, oh, this rule, don't think about anything as a rule. <laughs> when we just Right. all focus on mm -hmm, uplifting that vibe, because I love when you were talking about, you know, making sure that we're passing the love, how simple it is. And I mean, it is very, very simple. And everybody sees the importance of going over to the little kids and giving a little love to the little children that they don't even know about. Or even the dogs or, or cats they see, you know, they'll happily go over there. Why can't we encourage each other slightly? It's not like you're going to be in a deep conversation all the time. Right. Hello. Just pass that love around. Totally pass love around. I mean, it is, it is the one thing that is so easy to do. It doesn't cost anything. It actually raises the energy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the first step. I'm here. I just, I love it. If we would make it the signature of America, because come on, high five me right here. High five. There it is. We're all the, we're the loving people here because uh, of course we all saw that Olympics right there. But I've this experience people were saying how when you go over there, they're known for kissing on the cheek. So hello. Why can't we all exhibit over here that when they're going to be over here in what two more, no, four years, they're going to be over here in four years, that everybody's going to see that, oh, yes, yes, 2028, America, ew, they are loving people. <laughs> but in two years, that is the FIFA one, the international soccer one, is going to be right here. And the whole world is going to be here. So why can't we all exhibit, okay, they are loving in America, okay. But Yeah. Yeah. we just got to make the change. And so if everybody can be motivated. Tell them high-fiving, thumbs-upping, or fist-bumping. Yeah, all of Five it. people they Do do not know every day, whichever one they feel more comfortable on. And, oh, okay, okay. We're uplifting the vibe. And, hey, I want to make the world a better place. I took a look at myself and made my change i'm talking about reach out and touch somebody's hand make this world a better place as you can beautiful all you gotta do yeah It'll be all it recognize how Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, all of the big Lionel Richie were all singing to us about mm -hmm. we so are the beautiful yeah Diana yes also said, hey, reach out and touch to all of us. I mean, come yeah on, we got all the loving examples from everybody. yeah yes <laughs> so those are the important lessons and everything you want people to do. Should we show them how to hit you up to go get more of the lessons? But my Go over to your site right here, right? That'd be great. And they can see how they can do the simple moves of <laughs> relaxing. It's Darcy's website, oh, the instant gram. So everybody loves to go to those <laughs> social media and the Facebook spots. They can see you get all the visual and more video angles and so forth. Yeah, that's And great. Yeah. So if you really want to learn more about my coaching, um, my website and my Facebook is really the prime places to go. So, and I post on Instagram, but they're just not as in depth because Instagram doesn't allow it for as much room. Oh, right, right. This Yeah. time. Yeah. It's true with Facebook has. Yeah. So there's some, and I do have, um, Every last Saturday of the month, I have a free mastermind. So you can sign up 
for that through my website. And, um, and then I have some group coaching coming up pretty soon. And that's going to be on my website. So that really is the best place to check me out. Rising Phoenix MT. Yes. They can come in over here and just connect much stronger with you. There it is. Yep. Okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> you want to make it very popular that yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I really love that you included building a relationship with your body because the work that I do really is coming home to the body. Um, the work that I've done is has shown me that the wisdom our minds are very strong but they can take off on a track that may not be very helpful and our bodies really hold this wisdom of truth and when we settle in and we reconnect with our bodies that truth can come through and we can we can make really strong sound decisions based on that because it can it can be kind of confusing on what to do next but if, but when we really ground and come home it be it actually becomes quite clear even in big transitions in life and they can feel scary but when you're grounded in that truth you know you're going to be okay clearly clearly <laughs> yeah so that way okay grounding on the truth and the foundation because again simple steps i'm sure you're going to show simple steps for everybody to see how mm -hmm, it doesn't take much and we just free your mind the yeah. rest will follow and we just all uplift and shine that i feel good 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 we just feel yeah. it and just recognize how I mean, joy stays on me when I don't figure things out. And I just enjoy each single day as one day at a time. Mm -hmm. I live on that one day and just say, got to enjoy each day because yesterday, whatever, whatever. Hey, I've right. Learned. It's done. I've yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like time flies. Oh, look at that because we are already this year. Oh. Trying to act like it's about to be, but mm -hmm. we still got a few more. So let me be quiet. I'm going to enjoy these last few months. And I'm, you know how we party these last few months. So hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's true. I think we, you know, it's September. We start thinking about the end of the year already, but we have time, right? There's no Maybe. reason to rush. Maybe. Hey, plenty of time. So that's yeah. why we're going to enjoy the rest of these year, months. And oh, as well as we're gonna have a positive habit and we're gonna keep our bodies in alignment in our mind and oh okay so when you have that alignment going on it is so much more peace and oh my god it's freedom peace. yeah because i'm just one grateful i love things at least i have a deep sleep where it, it's not easy to wake me up because i'm not i don't want to say I'm not trying to bother all of us, but all of us who never had the responsibilities and everything, it's quick, clearly easier for us to have that deeper sleep. We don't have to wake up for anything. And when we get up and everything, we'll just have that one. But I'm honored that I'm starting to remember some of the dream a little bit. But let me see if I can get some more of the detail of that down and so forth. But man, just everything is a learning process in life. So. Uh, that's what we're here for. I think that's like, we're here to keep learning. We're never done. There's never an arrival point because once we arrive, we're still on the path. We're still going somewhere. So they're just benchmarks along the way, I think, that we can look forward to. But even those can change and that's okay. They're supposed to if they do. <laughs> so you say that what the advice that you would give people is to what I love to walk personally my personal one is to walk oh, yeah. and just that's how I do my meditation and everything but I yeah. still come back and just mm, go over that point without moving but it's just so awesome just walking around and just speaking with the universe there and then when I come back and just meditate on that point and I mean it is just amazing it uplifts like any advice or anything that you would say or you just want people to hit you up on your psych way 
I will give some advice. I, as a coach, I don't give advice all that much. So it's fun to be with you today so I can give some advice, but you really nailed it in terms of my advice for everybody is to move your body every day. And <clears throat> whether that's walking, whether that's yoga and is swimming. Oh, absolutely. Anything like just move your body and get some, you know, get some space in your body and stretch and then with that and i really again i come back to really appreciating what you're saying is what i would highly recommend for everybody is to see yourself like visualize yourself without any labels without any restrictions without any like imagine yourself in the true essence of who you are and see yourself there yes and as you're moving tap into the essence of who you are and and for for me i'll just give my example so when i tap into my essence i am love i am hope i am curious i am adventurous right so i don't think about I'm a coach or I'm a yoga teacher or I'm a like, I don't use labels like that. It's more about the feeling of who I am in this world. So as we move, tap into the feeling of who you are and then apply that to what we do during the day. So letting that be the driver of how you do maybe some of the more ordinary tasks like, like paying bills or doing the dishes or cleaning the house. Um, bring your love and bring your light into everything that you do. That's essential, I'm sure. And yeah, I'm sure you have a strong team as well. People come over and everything and you got influential people in your team. So it's just like, hey, hey, we're going to all, because teamwork makes the dream work. And Team is beautiful, right? So find your team, find your people. And we'll just be stronger together because we need each other. Really, we can't do this alone. Hey, <laughs> I mean, is there anybody else you want to point out? Because I mean, otherwise I'll just hit you up. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we just have that loving, loving oh, example of just how simple things can be. Because I love that spot. It's just making it so simple how we can't minimize. Don't minimize. Don't minimize. Vibe, we are making a big impact because... Oh, everything when you least expect it because I'm being motivated to just say the simple I, I pass love literally I'm not I'm trying to get everybody to do the high-fiving thumbs up and fist bumping to five people but I walk up to everyone I'm not even counting the huge number but I'm just so happily surprised when people respond back to me like wow you are oh, oh my goodness you're different you're so loving and then this other lady saw I was trying to go get some of my herbs or one of the medicine pieces and I almost dropped it I grabbed, I made sure I don't like anything grabbing on the floor, but long entry, I was just bringing it up. How I'm amazed that that lady, I don't even remember, I, that was a few years ago, but she's just all saying, oh, wow, you caught that? You are so athletic and strong. I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you. So I was catching up, I'm like, yes, I'm an athletic person. When I hear that one from a stranger, I'm just like, see, please, I'm clearly an athletic one. So hello. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so, and see, like, it's amazing when people see us, what a gift that is. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. diamond and we're shining off the joy. So I just want to say, ah, how don't minimize how that makes a big impression and it makes a lasting impression that would stand out if more of us did it. I love, we like you said, I love that one. We are clearly a family. So let's make the whole world come into that family mode and can quit all these war things. Let's make it a loving vibe all over the world. And yes. oh, Love is amazing. Love is powerful. Brotherly yeah. and sisterly love. That's all we're talking about. Yep. Okay, sister. Well, I look forward. I'm just honored and enjoying every moment. Just hope everybody, mm -hmm, I will give you, I'll look forward to the testimonies that you'll have from people who will join your team and then I'll be able to meet them as well. Oh, thank you, Abby. Ooh, that motivates me. I should have showed my book portion. <laughs>
anybody wants to connect with me, they can go right here to my website, breaking the cocoon. BreakingTheCocoon.com and that's how they see living free with epilepsy, viviendo libre con epilepsia. Because epilepsia is not the como uh, Harriet Tubman, Julius Caesar, Prince, Flojo, Socrates, Daddy Glover. All of them had epilepsy just like me. And I have, you know, most of those in my book. And you'll get their stories as well as my story. And when you see a true story, mm -hmm, it stands out. so inspiring yeah well you just keep your loving heart and we'll all see the great great loving vibe and we can just get more folks to do i look forward to being able to hear that part of course thank you